Hello, this is Hawk Devine, and today we are going to be reading SCP-2870. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-2870, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures, All hospital records in suspected outbreak areas are to be monitored. For instances of SCP-2871, in the event that an instance is found, MTF Tri-7 Plague Tamers is to insert themselves into the hospital and advise SCP-2871 on techniques for negotiating with SCP-2870-A. Following convalescence, all records of the patient and samples of SCP-2870 collected are to be incinerated, and class at amnesics distributed as necessary. All unhospital instances of SCP-2871 are to be brought to the nearest Foundation quarantine facility until convalescence, at which time they will be administered amnestics and released. Description SCP-2870 is a strain of the common cold which causes sentience and limited mobility in the mucus of the nose and throat. Despite being a single, contiguous mass, structures ends of mucus are believed to possess separate personalities. All affected mucus affected by SCP-2870 is apparently under the command of SCP-2870-A. A small amount of mucus believed to be reside near the opening of the nostril. While it is still possible to remove mucus from the nostril, SCP-2870-A cannot be neutralized until the patient, referred to as SCP-2870-A1, for the duration of the infection, is no longer infected by SCP-2870. Telepathic communication between SCP-2871 and SCP-2870-A is possible, with scp 27 2871 claiming to hear SCP 2870A's voice at all times. SCP 2871 is able to return communication by prefacing their words would tell him and directly intending SCP 2870A as a, as a recipient. Through this method, the Foundation has learned that all instances of SCP 2870A are non contiguous manifestations of the same personality, claiming to be the leader, rank unspecified, of the army of mucus infected by SCP-2870. SCP-2870-A's stated goal is revolution, a find that's com taken complete Control of SCP-2871's body. Seen by SCP-2870-A as uh, the a country over which 2871 presides. Since containment and no instance of SCP-2870-A has ever achieved this before recovery of SCP-2871, and it's currently unknown if you'll act if such an act is possible. I think I'm gonna start calling him patient and virus. It is possible for the patient to negotiate a relative peace with the virus, but it is often short-lived as the virus runs through reading through the nose, sniffing, swallowing, nasal excavation, and indigestion of any kind as an act of hostility, accusing the, a patient of setting their own troops against it. All military actions which the virus is capable of instigating are listed as follows. Drilling Mucus shifts concentration from the back of the nostril to the front of the nostril and back again several times. Charging. The flow of mucus into the throat increases. Occupation. Concentration of mucus shifts into either nostril. Kamikaze as a charge. Sun expulsion of large quantities of mucus from the nostril. Addendum. Interview log of 2870. Alpha. Agent Blank Becker was voluntarily infected with SCP-2874 for the purpose of interviewing SCP-2870 
2878. This took place after several hours of negotiation. The virus was found to have no memory of the interaction in subsequent manifestations. Tell him, why do you feel the need to attack me? Ha! You've been hurting us a lot longer than we've been hurting you, your majesty! Tell him I don't, know, I don't understand what you mean. I don't blame you. The affairs of us little people are, must not always seem that important up on your high horse. But I've been living with the results of your reign since I was a little phleb. I still don't understand. Your troops are constantly passing through here. They push people around and dry them out. If we stray too who far into the caves, we'd be knocked into the hole. Or a few days ago when your bruises came down here and took my mother. It was around then that we decided enough was enough. Note that SCP-2871 does recall recreationally excavating his nostrils several days before infection. I'm sorry, but I don't... But I need to do most of those things to survive. Really now? Well, sir, that's just what, what, what we're er, doing. I'm sorry, but this fight has been long coming. I don't hold any hard feelings against you if you were just doing what you had to do. But it's just too much for anyone to take. You aren't going to win. Do I care? Do any of us care? Some of us die, sure. But it's better than the long, slow death that every single one of us was doomed back in our old lives. Besides, I'd say we're having an effect. Well, you are right about that. There you go. Then look forward to meeting you on the battlefield, sir. I'm afraid that won't be possible. You said that about us winning, too. <laughs> Imagine fighting your own on burgers. That's so disgusting and so funny. Well, that was SAP 2870. I don't remember the name. But I think I'm just going to call it Rebellious Burgers. Or rebellious mucus. That's better. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye. And also, tomorrow's my birthday! Goodbye!